Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Champions League Tuesday, and well, tomorrow, Wednesday as well. Champions League games are back in swing. What is this, the second set of first leg games that we have coming this week? I want to talk about these cards again, Road to the Finals, because these cards are fun, right? And they're actually getting upgraded in this game. They're getting upgraded quicker than what we originally had last year and what we were expecting, because the first uh, week of a week ago, uh, like Jade and Sancho, those cards are already upgraded. The party card is already upgraded. So this just brings more hype to these cards because they're actually getting upgraded uh, at a decent time frame, which is fun, which is awesome, right? So we can show you here that Sancho did get upgraded to his 88 rated card. So that means that uh, since these guys already got upgraded this week, we are going to be seeing the second set of Road of the Final players that haven't got upgraded yet because they haven't played. They will be getting upgraded alongside with all the Europa League cards will get upgraded this Friday as well. So I want to talk about these cards again today. A lot of you guys probably traded with them last week. I want to talk about their prices, when they're going to be their highest, what's going to happen during the game. Again, cover some of that stuff and then talk about the upgrades later on in the week as well. And we'll even talk about man of the matches a little, a little bit. Uh, but this video is just kind of going to outline what we're going to be seeing this week with the, the Champions League content and that stuff because... Obviously, this is uh this is one of the most hyped things that we have in the game right now. We're inside of a shapeshifters promo uh, that is just kind of you know it is what it is. It's all right. Uh, not a ton of content is coming out for this, so this promo at least. So we'll see what happens later on this week. But they should be putting out some Champions League content today as well. Uh, UCL marquee matchups is something that I would expect to see in here. Uh, looking at the games that we have for today and for Wednesday. I would assume that they would throw Chelsea and Bayern in to the marquee matchups and then Real Madrid and Man City. Uh, I don't know if that would come out today or tomorrow. Last week came out on Wednesday, but uh, in the other times past, usually that SBC comes out on Tuesday. So we'll see what happens with those. But I would expect a marquee matchups SBC and probably another some sort of pack SBC as well. But big time games today, even Napoli, Barcelona, Chelsea, Bayern. I think Bayern's got to take this one, right? I think Barcelona's going to take this one, but it's Champions League, right? Champions League on the big stage, big time games. So I want to talk about these cards a little bit, uh, and we're going to focus on just mostly uh, Champions League today. We'll talk about Europa League stuff on Thursday uh, and maybe tomorrow and, and more of a video then. But a lot of these cards, they were low coming out of the weekend league. Look at this Mares card, right? So we had some we had some stuff happen. Now I know that Mares and City don't play until Wednesday, but I want to talk about Mares because a lot of the stuff was low coming out of the weekend, coming from the weekend league sell-off. Um, and I, I guess people were just forgetting about these cards. Mares was 130,000 coins all day on Sunday. He's now back up to 157. So you can tell people are hyped up about these cards. Uh, and that means that we want to trade with them because when people are hyped up, and they want to buy cards and they're they're watching these cards that means they're going to be good to trade and good to to be flipping with because they have the hype at the moment right it's kind of like how we were flipping icon moments last week these cards have the hype right now for this week in foot you can tell he's up a lot dibala is actually up a decent amount as well this card usually fluctuates between like 730 to 750 as you can see here and he's up to 815,000 coins right now at the moment so he's up a lot uh and then again from the games that we have today Allen and uh, like Usman Dembele. There's some big, like big time players are going to be getting upgrades this week with Road to the Final cards. And they were down coming out of the weekend. Sunday, Allen was 220K most of the day. He's now 235. So I want to talk about these cards. Uh, and first of all, what's going to happen to these prices as we head into the game, right? You're probably going to see these prices, all of them or most of them, continue to rise upward just a little bit before game time. That's what we saw with the Sancho card last week is his card was like 180, you know, the night before game time. And he actually rose up to about 190 to 200,000 coins right when the game was starting, right when the game happened. So that's something to watch out for these cards. Uh, it's, you know, I'm really I'm really looking at the Allen card today and, and tomorrow. I'm really looking at Allen and I'm really looking at Militao because out of the guys that are playing, right? 270, it's way too high. I searched way too high there. Um, out of the guys that are playing this week, the ones that we're going to want to trade with and the ones that are going to be the best to trade with are going to be the ones that uh, are the most hyped up, right? So, Alan, this is, an, this is a card that so many people want to have in their teams and so many people already have in their teams. Now, is it likely to get an upgrade? 
Probably not. Barcelona's playing fantastic, right? So maybe we should look at uh, Jordi Alba and Usman Dembele instead because these cards are looking like, you know, probably a little bit of a higher potential of, of these cards pulling through uh, and their team getting a win. Usman is 1.1 mil right now. Uh, this card obviously could be going to an 88 rated card on Friday. Um, so I would really watch the, the Dembele and the Allen and the Jordi Alba because if we're just looking at that game, for one example, if we look at what happened with Yoris last week, and I looked at, I uh, talked about this a little bit on my video, I think it was yesterday. Yoris, obviously, is one of the best. This card right here is like the best French goalkeeper card we have in FIFA. So if you need a French goalkeeper for your ultimate team, whatever links that you have, whatever links you need for your squad, this is the best guy. He was 215K, it's like 200,000 coins during the game, dropped to 130,000 coins after Spurs lost. But he's rebounded back up. Why is that? Because he is a hyped and very used and you know popular card in this game. That's why he rose back up because so many people use this card. And Spurs are still kind of in, uh, right? They're still close enough to be considered in the game with the opportunity for this card to get more upgrades if Spurs continue moving on. So for the guys that are playing today, like let's say Barcelona beat Napoli, right? We're looking ahead a little bit. Let's say Barcelona beat Napoli. What's going to happen to this card's price? Well... Allen is going to drop a lot. You're going to see this card probably go somewhere down to like, I wouldn't be too surprised if you saw it under 200K, maybe even like 180,000 coins, right? You're going to see a pretty sizable drop off. 175, 180K might be the kind of range where you see Allen, maybe even 150K. That's probably going to be a buy opportunity because this card would rebound as well. So many Napoli players will have the Mertens card that is in this new Shapeshifters promo. We've got the new Politano upgrade to your the, the Storyline player or whatever. And just a lot of other Napoli cards that people are using in this game. Mertens is pretty popular. The Malqui right back, the Koulibaly at center back. So, and obviously he's Brazilian as well, right? This is a card that tons of people use in this game. So I'm going to be watching this card very heavily during the sell-off if they end up losing, all right? So that's a losing thing that we can talk about. If... Dortmund, not Dortmund, if Barcelona win, I'm going to be watching this Usman Dembele card really closely if they win, and also Jordi Alba if they win, because if these guys do win, again, we can use our example of last week, seeing what happened to uh, Jaden Sancho, where his card, they won, he was like 230,000 coins after they, they took the win, he dropped back down to 210,000 coins. I, part of that might have been due to people not thinking he was going to get the upgrade for later in the week, but I also think it was just people who bought that card to make coins with it during the game, and they were selling it off because they wanted to get their coins back because its price went up, but that drove his price back down into the nighttime. So I'm going to watch these cards if Barcelona do win, or if, uh, let's say, let's say Bayern win, we'll be watching Kingsley Coman as well. This would be another good example. Cards on the winning team, watch and see how much they drop after... Uh, the games are over. Like Kingsley Coman, I think is like 380k right now. 370. Wow, he's even higher. Three, 400k. How? 400,000 coins for Kingsley Coman. This guy is up a lot. So let's say they win, right? Let's say Byron win. He goes up to 450,000 coins. Then he drops back down to like 390 or even like 410. Like if he drops back down to this point after being at 450, uh, he's gonna get that upgrade. He's gonna go to 90 dribbling. He's gonna have some pretty solid stats. So. Only a three-star weak foot, but it's probably going to be a card that would rebound after he gets the upgrade. So that's going to be something to watch for with these cards as well. Of course, I'm probably going to be watching the losers a little bit more often than the winners, just because these cards are going to be dropping a lot more. And uh, of course, that's going to make them more affordable to more people on this game that may may really not have wanted to buy them before, but they're saying, "Oh shoot!" Like look at Allen; he's 200 and, or he's 175k right now instead of being 250k where he kind of was before. So that's something you could watch with these cards as well. The post-game trading with these is going to be just as good as the in-game trading. And I want to talk about the in-game trading next. Of course, as I mentioned, a lot of these cards are probably going to rise up into the pre-game hype, right? Now, if some of these cards aren't going to rise up as much. You've seen Mares rise up a decent amount because of the Hazard injury, which is going to rule Hazard out of this game between Real Madrid and Manchester City. I think that is hurting Militao's rise and hurting Bale's rise. Those cards probably won't rise too much heading into the game. If you have any of these Road to the Final cards, though, 
I would take the coins. I would take the money on all of these cards pre game. I would do it. I honestly would take the money on these cards pre game. Militao, I know he's 690, 680,000 coins right now. This card is one of the most OP center backs in foot. A lot of people like to use him. Brazilian links. He's very linkable. We've had so many other center back special cards that people use in this game now. We've got Prime Icon Moments. This guy isn't like the ultimate best card that he was before. Yes, he's still very, very good. But if he doesn't get the upgrade, this card might end up being, let's say Real Madrid lose like 2-0, right? 2-0 or 3-0. That's a pretty big deficit. It might be hard for them to come to regain that back. Now, of course, I'm just speaking speculative, okay? I'm not talking that I think Real Madrid's going to lose that way. So if you're a Real Madrid fan, I apologize, all right? There was no malicious intent with that statement. We're just talking figuratively. How low could this Militao go? He might be down in the 500k range, 550, maybe even a little bit lower, just because of all the other special cards that we have in this game now. But I would be interested in seeing that card rise back up too. So that's something to think about. Again, the in-game stuff is going to be massive. Let's say Real Madrid can score the goal first. What's going to happen to Militao? What's going to happen to Bale? They're going to go up because people people really want the Militao upgrade. Don't get me wrong. That's, that's a card that a lot of people want to see upgraded. This Bale card, I think a lot of people would have interest in as well. He's got the three-star weak foot, which is not ideal. But getting this card to an 88, he's going to have over 90 shooting. He's going to have over 80 physical. So he's going to break through some stat. Uh, he's going to break into some new, you know, what do they call that? A bo like a boost or a, a new category, some new stat categories. So he's going to break into the 90s and break into the 80s on physical. So just keep an eye on that. It's going to be a card that would, I feel like this card kind of falls behind, right? Usman Dembele in this game is more suited for the meta perf more perfectly than what Bale is. So I feel like this card kind of loses some hype, but... That's going to be a card that might regain some hype if they can uh, get the win and he does get upgraded from this first game. But again, just watch these cards during the game. If Real Madrid score first, again, as I was saying, this card's probably going to shoot up. You take your coins there if you bought before. Now, again, if, if you have a like a, an app on your phone where you keep, keep track of, of soccer scores, of football scores, uh, SofaScore.com and I think Flash Score is another app that you can use. Um, to like if you're watching the game and you're on a delay and you want to try to make coins off these fluctuations then you're going to have opportunities to do that um, based on um, some of the cards when they score if you get the notification faster than if you're like watching a stream then that would be something to you might have an opportunity to quickly go buy some cards as they shoot up this that's what i do when i trade with these right so like the pie is 210k 207, 205,000 coins for Depay. Now, they're probably not going to win, right? I wouldn't expect Lyon to win against Juventus. But let's say Depay is 210,000 coins at the start of the game. The game is going on. Uh, and all of a sudden, Lyon breaks through and they score the first goal of the game. What's going to happen to this Depay card? He's probably going to go from like 200K to like 250, 260 in a flash. So I am I know that if I get that notification on my phone, I know that he's going to be shooting up, right? right insta wet in that inst instant manner i'm gonna hop on the app if i can if i'm available and then try to buy myself a couple to pies from like two maybe even 215 i will go above the buy now price because i know there's other people doing the same thing getting on trying to buy those cards and then i will sell them five minutes later after everybody has gone on and bought the card because they think it's going to get upgraded then you sell then take your guaranteed profit when he's up at 250k and then you're good to go, right? You just made some a decent amount of coins in your Depay. That's why you see me pretty liquid right now because I'm looking forward to doing some trading with these cards. And you're going to see me looking at these cards a lot over the next couple days because, again, they just have the hype. These cards just have the hype right now. Dybala, that is Dybala's inform. We don't want that. What is Dybala's road to the final card at right now? He is 840, 820,000 coins. So... This will be a card that I'm interested in as well. Just got an inform, of course, the 90 rated. So the position change uh, makes him a little bit less desirable than his center attack and mid card. But yeah, boys, just be careful with these cards. Again, they're going to get upgraded this Friday. This Friday is when they're going to get upgraded. And we'll probably see another set of man of the matches uh, because obviously when they dropped those man of the matches last week, we know we're going to be probably getting some this week as well. So somebody's going to get man of the match from Napoli, from Barcelona, Chelsea, Bayern, Lyon, Juventus, Real Madrid, Man City. There's going to be man of the match cards released 
for those games. Uh, last week, we had two Champions League Man of the Matches. We had Gulashi and we had Haland. And then we had a lot of other cards from the Europa Leagues that got Man of the Matches. I would expect another two or three from Champions League this week as well. Again, just watch the game, see what happens. And then, you know, let's, let's say... Um, Let's say who could have a good game. Maybe Insigne has an insane game, right? For for Napoli, you might be careful with his inform card if you have like an inform Insigne in your team, because that could mean that uh, it could be dropping if he gets a Champions League Man of the Match item. Because we saw that the inform Holland dropped a ton when the new version of Holland came on the market. So that's just something that I would be looking out for if I were you guys, because if you have this guy in your squad, I think he's like what 220k. 220,000 coins for this card. He was over 300k before that new card came out. Now he's down to 220. So that's just something I'd be careful with. If you see like an Insigne or uh, maybe even a Mertens is having a good game, I would be careful with their other special cards because if a Champions League Man of the Match comes out, that could hurt their price. So again, stuff to look for in these next couple days. Today and tomorrow, Champions League games. Sell cards if you wanted to do the no-risk method. No risk, sell the cards into the hype before the game. You might sell Militao before the game at 700,000 coins. He might be 550 after the game's over if they lose. Stuff like that could happen. Now, one thing I haven't talked about and I want to touch on this really quick is if they draw, if any of these teams draw today or tomorrow, none of them, none of the special cards will get upgraded. What's going to happen if they draw? The cards are going to go down because they're not going to get an upgrade, but they're not going to go down a ton, right? Because people know Okay, these are still live items. It's anybody's game at this point. The second leg is really going to determine who moves on and gets that next upgrade. So you're going to see them drop. It's probably not going to be a crazy amount of a drop, but it will be a drop. Like you could see maybe Militao goes down to like 610K, maybe 600K flat instead of going like 550 or low 500s if they lose. Just because there's some people that are holding these cards for the upgrades and they know that if they don't win, they're not getting an upgrade. So that's something that just to watch out for as well. And that could be an investment opportunity that we see this week too. But of course, as I mentioned with the, the Jaden Sancho, these cards should be, and I think will be, very investable this week and very uh, profitable based on the movements that we see. So again, things to remember, cards that are OP and that are used by a lot of people. Allen, Eder Militao, I would throw Mares in that mix as well from the road to the final squads. The road to the final set two squad. I know we have Conte playing this week as well, but I think Bayern's going to be so good at, you know, we can throw Conte in the same mix and the same kind of situation as like the Real Madrid cards. They're technically not the favorite. Now, I'm not saying Chelsea can't win, but uh, this would be a very meta card that if you see his price dropping, what is he like 850k ish right now, 8 to 35. If you see this card down at like 750,000 coins, if they lose or maybe even low 700s that's going to be an opportunity to pick that card up because this is his best card in the game other than his team of the year. So Conte is a center back or a CDM that so many people use in this game. That'll be an interesting card to watch in the panic as well. But again, the most hyped up cards that are going to be playing in the next two days, probably Conte, Kingsley, Coman, Militao, Allen, and Mares is who I would say. The Road of the Final Set 2 cards are just not that good. Uh, Jordi Alba is way overpriced in my opinion. Goretzka is even overpriced in my opinion. Depay, I guess, because if, if Lyon end up winning, that could be kind of a hype card. But when we're trading with these cards and, and we're going to be trading with some of these based on whether they win or lose, you want to be focused on the ones that are going to be purchased and used the most. The ones that are the most hyped up, the ones that people use. And you can look through to find out how much these cards are used. You can look through these squads, right? Road to the final set one. How many games played does Paulo Dybala have? 692,000 games played. Okay. How much does Mares have? 1.6 million games played. I know Dybala is a way different price range. It probably has a lot less cards in the market, but that's a crazy different amount of games played, right? How about um, Allen? How many games? Allen has 3.3 million games played. Now you want to know why I'm focusing on this card this week, why I think he would rebound in either circumstance, whether they win or lose, because he has the hype and because so many people use that card in this game. So take a look at some of these cards and their games played, and that will give you a good idea of how much hype that they have on this game as well. That's a, a trick that you can use with team of the week investing, promo card investing. That's a, that's a stat that I look at a lot to gauge the hype of cards on this game. So 
If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Should be a fun week of Champions League, a lot of market movements, and a lot of ways to make coins. If you have any questions, of course, drop them down below in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.